Hey guys, welcome back to Tool Bag Tuesday. Thanks for following along. Um, this week, I was going to show you Rota brooches, and uh, I, I had to drill a hole uh, just the other day, and thought, hey, you know, that's a, that's a cool tool. It took me a while to find these, and what I started to discover is I have all kinds of hole saws. Large ones, small ones, uh, step drills, and all of these work, and all of them have a great place if you use them in the right, you know, use them at the right time for the right job. What I, and I started by buying a, you know, step drills and that kind of thing, and then a set of hole saws, and these are all uh, Milwaukee and DeWalt uh, and Bosch uh, hole saws, and I've just, you know, collected different mandrels and sizes of everything over the years. And, you know, you kind of think, oh, well, hey, I need to put gauges in a dash, so grab a hole saw, cut the hole, problem with a hole saw is they're not, you know, if you buy the really expensive ones um, and the Milwaukee are, are getting up there, uh, you get a pretty good hole. Um, they're not usually well balanced. They're not truly round. So, and then because the teeth are staggered, so one tooth goes up and one tooth goes down as it cuts. And they're just, and I should say, I shouldn't say up and down, but one is pointed outside the hole and one the next tooth is pointed inside the hole and they're staggered like that all the way across all the way around the diameter of the hole saw and that's to to make it easier for it to clear the chips out as it's as it's cutting the problem is it also makes the whole uh hole saw wobble a little bit and it tends to make the hole not round it's also like this is a three and eighth inch hole saw i guarantee if we went and cut a hole we're going to end up with something closer to three and a quarter inch. If you plan ahead for that, you know, that'll work possibly for you, especially if, if you're just getting the hole roughed in and then you're going to have to, to grind it out some more by hand or something. Hole saws have a, a great purpose and, or a great use if you use them for the right purpose. Not high precision though. So. The other side of that is something like the Blair Rotor Brooch, which works on, on a similar function. It looks like a mini hole saw, although the teeth are all uh, parallel to uh, the cutting surface instead of the in and out thing like on the hole saw. Um, and they, they're carbide. Uh, the, the hole saw itself, or the brooch, is, is uh, balanced much better, and it cuts the exact size hole. So in this case, this is an inch and three-eighths inch rota brooch, and when you're done cutting the hole, you will have an inch and three-eighths. Now this particular set, the mandrel, the part that the rota brooch works off of, and the way you do it is it comes with what looks like a nut, but there's no threads in there. That just slips over the area. Then you thread on your, your brooch. And when you're ready to take this off, you can. there's some flats on here. You can hold this with a pair of uh, pliers or a wrench. And then you take another wrench and you spin the, the nut here. And it will spin off your brooch without, uh, without you having to try and grab the brooch with a pair of pliers and damaging the, the sides of it. Um, these work extremely well. This one has a plunger pin, so you're going to, all you need is a center hole, and then the pin, uh, you, you push this down in there, um, and it spring-loaded. That is good and bad, depending on your, your work surface and that kind of thing. Um, I have another set where the pin is fixed, and so you have to drill a quarter inch hole and then this pin just goes in the quarter inch hole. Um, the other set I have, and th this set here goes from inch and a half down to seven eighths. I think this is about 40 or $50. This other set, um, this one's nice because it's got a few of the sizes that are uh, 
same as uh, gauges and a lot of your common switches. And now I'm going to show you a, a, a little difference here. This type of roto brooch with the teeth that come all the way back will do up to quarter, even three eighths inch steel, much more than that, and you tend to start damaging them. This type, the teeth are very thin and there's a sleeve. These are made only for sheet metal. You try and cut anything thicker with these and they, it destroys the teeth in just moments. It, it doesn't take very long. So you can kind of see this is another small rotor brooch. And I use these super small ones and a, uh, the pin where it flexes in and out. I use those to cut spot welds out when I'm replacing sheet metal. So you can get these down to about 5 16 these full brooches. These are great for doing spot welds and cutting those out. And you can get them in 5 16 3 8 7 16 you know, all the way up to an inch plus. And uh, those go on a mandrel that has either an eighth inch drill bit or has a pin that is on a spring. This type though, like I was just showing you with the small teeth, these are for doing sheet metal, and they are very precise, very accurate. And if you're, you know, you can order them, you can get a set like this, or you can buy just one and get the exact size you need to do a set of gauges. And if you were doing dash panels and stuff often, um, or for your buddies or whatever, great for, for making those holes in the dash the exact right size. Especially a material where you, you know, where it, be expensive if you had to go back and start over. So uh, that's it. That's the Blair Roto Brooch. I have many sizes, um, different, you know, just a higher quality version of a hole saw. Either gets the job done if you plan ahead with it. So anyway, uh, that's Tool Bag Tuesday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.